tell me why does it seem so easy to breathe on TV? Whoops, I don't want to spoil nothing. All right, hello, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Can you still back up and then hear it again? Bayonetta. Is it only of uh, the one voice this time? What's up with that? Bayonetta. What the heck? I feel like in the first game, there was many different people saying Bayonetta. Am I just getting unlucky? But hello Sally and Fack, Bayonetta 2. Yeah, it's the same voice clip. What the heck? I feel like in the first one there was like a few different voice clips. Maybe we have to unlock them. Oh, let's check this out. Oh, so these are in-game achievements. That's cool. I feel like I don't see that super often. Um, games with in-game achievements rather than it being connected to a platform or a console. And, well, there probably are plenty of games like that. I just don't know them that, that many, but yeah, I, I like when games do that. Even like Super Smash Bros. Brawl had that. It, it had an achievement thing where you could like unlock stuff that way. I remember that was cool. I never used up all my... You could get these hammers to like break open some of them. The challenges. But I d never wanted to use any of them. Bayonetta understands the Capcom legacy. Gotta say the name of the game on the title screen. I guess you're right. Anyway, continuing. I think we were like on our way to Inferno. Unless something goes wrong, I believe that was the last thing that happened. The bridge to the heavens. Oh, we're still going up to the mountain first, I guess. Why they don't do that in modern Resident Evil, I'll never know. Did they not do that in RE7 or 8? That's sad. So, I have enough to get an upgrade, or I could wait. We haven't really been too desperate for health. Or, oh god, I forgot about the fox outfit. We haven't been too desperate, really, for health and magic increases, so I think we could wait a little bit, and then maybe we'll see if I want to get something else. What's back here, I wonder? Oh, we'll never know. It's not in 7, 8, or 2 or 3 remake. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, why the heck? That's iconic. Resident Evil. Oh, that's right. Every time I would start one of the games, I would just do it myself because the game didn't do it. Valor. Little one. They calls everyone little one. Oh, okay, well we're just right into this already, aren't we? It's still so, like I get that they're angels, so they're they're kinda conceited. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Um But it's still silly to me that they try to talk down on Bayonetta. It's like dude she she freaking destroyed your giant, like, big special thing that you were trying to summon this whole time, and you, you still don't think she's something to be afraid of? Like, they're just plain foolish at this point. Sword. 
Okay, we'll have my climax soon enough. I just want to wait to use it and then we'll use it. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best time to use it. Did I at least get him with the crow? I'm not sure. Oh. Ah. Man, he's so close to the screen, it's kind of hard to tell when he's attacking sometimes. Oh, those bats are paying off. That's okay. Yeah! Oh. Hey Sally, my day's going fine. I just finished up some homework. So that's... Always nice. Ouch. Dude's on a freaking giant spinning top. His shield grows when he stands on it, which is funny. But then again, this, this game already has established the rule that weapons can grow or shrink to suit the wielder, so I guess that's fine. They all have the same ability as the power pole from Dragon Ball. guess that I wanted to dodge and it was the right time. Because when they're all up in our grill like that, it could be hard to tell. You're about to get climaxed, buddy. Sorry to say, but it's, it's happening. There ain't nothing you could do about it. Your day's, uh, your day's going great? That's good, Sully. <laughs> Fax says, no, please don't say <laughs> my PTSD. I don't blame you. I feel the same way, Fax. But hey, I didn't do it at the last second, so that's an improvement. I just did it. It's technically due, uh... Well, I didn't do it last second. That's the important part. Hey, we got a light make the back page of the classified. Oh, interesting. They were say That's really cool, actually. So I think the first trophy we ever got was a silver award. But it was just a generic, like... Like a... Lumen Sage or something. Because in the first game it was... Luca. But now that Luca's been reintroduced into the story, the Silver Award is now Luca again. So I guess they did that specifically to, sit, to you know, not spoil that he was in the game. So that's kind of cool. It's also the first Silver Award I've gotten since the first chapter, I think. I kept getting, I've been getting gold. The Ark. Oh, that was a fast chapter. That was very fast. Wow. Okay. Because when I first got the silver trophy, I was like, oh, it's not Luca anymore. That's sad. And then now we know the truth. And I believe... Another failure. These pawns can no longer serve. Dude, who is purposes. this spaceman? With the, he's got a space snuggie on. Power must be held in my own hands to truly be attained. No one can take my galactic snuggie from me. Am I going for all the pure platinums on infinite climax mode? Definitely. I'm going for all the pure platinums. How'd you know? Who the hell was that?
I don't know. I like Luca's outfit in this. Why am I the only one sucking the drink? Where are we? Further from the mountain than we started, that's for sure. How the heck did that happen? I feel like I've seen this place before. Of course you do, amnesia boy. At last, you stand before me without escape. This is not your I compliment you Luca's outfit. Fak asks why he has what a dumb once hat. One must be one once again. You must be twenty-one. Stop throwing cards. Only I can throw cards. Little one, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, love. Now I'm sure I've seen this room before. If you're still trying to go to hell, Bayonetta, it's weird that I he's. Know the shortcut. I don't know if he just goes by the name Loki. I'm assuming he's not supposed to be Loki because he doesn't really come off as like a trickster god. Then again, I guess he has amnesia. This looks cool. Tabs on those stuff. Uh uh. Bayonetta, you better start creating miracles. Okay. Whoa. The manta ray skull. Consumer of all insidious. Yeah, that's true. Loki can't shapeshift, but I, I meant more his like attitude. It doesn't, didn't it? He doesn't seem that trickstery. He's just kind of like, he's just kind of a kid. He's just kind of a smartass kid. Oh, there's an eyeball. Can I just shoot you? Oh, there we go. This is a freaking huge enemy, actually. I didn't realize it was. I knew it. I knew that I was going to shit on me, but I was in the middle of a combo. I wanted to end it. I got greedy. Okay. Oh yeah, I can, um... I'm underwater, right? So I could turn into serpent mode. That's what I should be doing. I could get there faster. Getting climbed, boy. You're getting punished, boy. Ooh. I guess you just can't catch up to him. You just gotta dodge. Oh! No, you're just gonna slam into me. Like, where am I? Oh. Jeez. Never a good sign when you lose sight of yourself. I'm actually surprised that they, I assume she isn't, that they don't have Jean in uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate as like a, a uh, palette swap of, not a palette swap, cl uh, Shadow, whatever they're called, Echo Fighter of uh, Bayonetta, where they're technically their own original character, but they have, but they're, they, they're based, they have like the same like basis as another character. Like Ken is an Echo Fighter of Ryu, I'm pretty sure. 
It's ironic, you'd think I would like Ryu because I like Street Fighter a lot and Smash Bros. But I think I tried him like once and I just, I don't know, didn't feel right. I guess because it's a completely different game. Oh, they have a Gene Color Palette? Well, at least they have a... I mean, I guess I don't know her well enough to know what different moves she would have, honestly. Like, maybe they... aren't different enough in that sense to justify an Echo Fighter. All I know is the Minecraft guy got so many freaking Echo Fighters, it was ridiculous. Fly marks. Oh. Oh, Rodin's an assist trophy. That's really cool. I had no idea. Oh, I'll never get my, uh... If Travis was ever put in the game... And then they could have like a Shinobu assist trophy. That'd be sick. Where she just comes down and like just slices and basically if she hits you, it sends you flying. Maybe ba Batman coming out and just pummeling you with his bat. Are we inside of the eyeball? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Ark's return to his previous ruin condition. Maybe this is because I've separated from the book. Perhaps. The Minecraft things are just character skins, like Olimar, Alf, Louie, or the Koopalings. Oh, I guess I don't. I don't know the difference then. They really showed them off in the reveal trailer as if they were, like, actually fighters. They literally were like, Alex, join Smash. Creeper, join Smash. I didn't even know that Olimar had a Louie skin, and I don't even know who Alf is. I know Louie is the Player 2 character in the second Pikmin. And I remember he had a, like a really deep voice, which is funny because they're like tiny. What the hell? Holder of enmity, hatred, or enmity. 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 That's where Nemo lives. Whoops. I. Wow. What a horrible start. <laughs> Oh, it's just a big enemy, too. I thought that was gonna be a freaking boss. It really looked like it. It looked badass. I was gonna say, that's like my favorite boss design so far, but it was just a big enemy. Where'd that big weapon go? It's a Louis Armstrong joke. Alf is one of the Pikmin 3 captains. I always forget that they made a Pikmin 3. Echo Fighter basically is just them admitting that the character was is very much based on another character, right? Like Like if they had Echo Fighters in Melee, that basically, like, Roy or Marth would be an Echo Fighter of each other. Because from what I remember, they play, like, extremely similarly. Like, there's, like, little stat differences. But I think they have, like, almost all the same moves. I'll say Dr. Mario and Mario. Whoa, why am I... That was weird, I was like in slow motion. 
Yeah, I figure they did make them more different by this point. Because that was just, you know... I don't think... Most people didn't even know what Fire Emblem was uh, that I knew at that time. And I knew that they, for a while they weren't even going to put Roy and Mark in the US version of the game. Just because no one would know who they were. Which is a dumb thing. Like, of course, why wouldn't you want extra characters even if no one knows who they were? I didn't know who Ness was when I played the first Smash Bros, but it was still cool just having an, another character. It's gonna be a battle spot. But anyways, um... So, I'm assuming that... The only way Sakurai could even have the okay to have two Fire Emblem characters is the fact that they were so similar to each other, so they didn't take as long to develop. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, there's so many Fire Emblem characters in there now, it's just... Yeah, your, your, your Matrix thing was if cute the first time. I'd say you were the most persistent stalker I've met yet. <laughs> I thought she said pathetic at first. Okay, so you're mentioning Devil May Cry. I was thinking when we were in this place, yeah, before we even fought any enemy, I was like, this feels like a Devil May Cry-esque location. Like, I had that feeling. Step away, Umbra Witch. And I didn't really figure this out the fact that I was getting red fight. orbs, I was just accepting it. Actually, it is. Hey, I already have this, cool. Probably should have uh, waited till I was in witch time though to use it, but it's okay. Oh, I don't know how to use that. Now I'll try using it. Nope! I don't know how to use it. Okay. The big blood thing bursted. Let's chill. Which time doesn't last very long against this guy. Uh, oh, the last hit than it hit, I think. Oh well. Better to get most of it than none of it. Big fancy angelic sword to a heal. They're comparable. Oh, kaiju fight again. Oh, stop it. Oh, more was coming. Friggin' river of blood behind us. Last one tends to really not hit this guy. Oh, I should have countered. At least I don't think he hit me though, I just didn't get the counter off either. I'm gonna interrupt you. There we go.
Wow. I found another quick combo, actually. It's punch, kick, punch. Ooh. That might be my new combo in this game. I like that. Usually you glow when you do that. There we go. Oof. Uh oh. Holy missiles. I've heard of holy hand grenades, but this is ridiculous. I guess we, we I guess we did write a holy missile. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in these games. It's a little hard to remember everything. Wait, we just broke the same part of the mask again? Conveniently, or is it still broken from last time? Oh! We fell into the river of Kool-Aid. Yeah, we got pretty bad there, but... Oh man, we are plowing through these chapters. That performance might make the back page of the classified. Wow, thanks, Luca. That performance was subpar. We keep unlocking all these tag team stuff thing that I'm probably never gonna ever use. Two in particular starts at 11 and doesn't let up. Sure feels like it. All right, we're on to chapter eight. And I believe I could potentially get something. I have a lot of rings right now. I believe I was told that there's 16 chapters in this game total. Time to do business. What's your pleasure? See so if there's any accessories I want. Oh, this is the one that just automatically triggers if you get hit and you have... Which is okay, but I, I think I realize you still take damage, though. Oh, you know what? Let's try and see. Oh, I don't think they let you try them in the first game. I think that's another improvement. I can't tell if I took damage, though, or if they just don't show you taking damage in this... Hit me again. Run. Ah, it doesn't actually look like I take damage, but I, I feel like in the first game you did take damage. Infernal communicator. Use it to temporarily contract them. Oh, this is like a familiar summoner. Yeah, they, sh they should have had this in the first one. For how expensive these things are. So press X and A with at least four orbs. Oh, now I have these guys. That's cool. Oh, this could be a fun one to have. I might have to spend my rings on one of these instead of another costume, guys. I don't know. Look at these little, like tiny little reapers. That's neat. Gives users divine protection. So this basically will give me invincibility for a short time. Wow, you don't even flinch. 
That's good, because if you want to, like, just get a move out... And you only need four orbs to activate it. That's pretty cool. Man, they last a while too. Replenish their vitality by taunting enemy. I get I get that idea of that one. Um when it's user dodges into coming danger, the beads will launch a magical counter strike. While the attack is incredibly powerful, it sucks emotional strength from the user, stripping them of the ability to activate Witch Time. Oh, so you're basically trading Witch Time altogether. This must be good if it if you get rid of Witch Time. Let's see. Oops. There. I mean, I feel like Witch Time's still better than that. Mm. Summon upon its rare the wrath. I'll just try it out and see. Oh, it makes your enemies stronger, right? So I'm guessing that means you also get more stuff from them, though. Like if you're trying to grind for stuff. Mallet of rewards. I think this one just said you'll you'll get more money. Yeah, when you do torture attacks. Uh, repel an enemy's attack. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a parry. Now the only thing about this is I feel like I would just. Why would I ever dodge again? But I want to dodge. I guess it's better than dodging because you stun your opponent, but it's a little too close to witch time, I feel like, compared to some of the other ones where they have like different effects. Because otherwise I could have just dodge and then plus have demons at the same time. The money one could be good if it really pays off. Depending on how much money it gives me. And then, and then, But at that point I feel like I'm literally just trying to use it to save up to get a different accessory. Unless it really pays a lot of money. Coming soon. Coming soon to a theater near you. I wonder if you can actually... No, you can't test this one out. Oh, is it more than you just do the torture attacks? Because it also says all hidden wealth will be revealed. But I don't know if that's just the story behind the object. Is the money one... Does it pay off quickly? Well, I'm just gonna get it, because I don't know what else I'm gonna spend it on anyways. I could get moves, but I don't, there's so many moves, I don't know which one I would get, and I already pretty much just use what I have. I think I had the same thing with the first game, where it's like, I don't know, even like Devil May anything, where there's like, games where there's like a bunch of moves, I just, I just don't know what I would even begin to get, so it's like, maybe I shouldn't get any. You know, unless I was like really having trouble with the base gameplay and I needed something to really help me out, and maybe there was a move that could help me out. But I haven't had that problem. Even in Devil May Cry, I kept trying to save up and buy moves to help, and this is... just ended up Welcome to grenade hell, launcher and everything. Too late to repent. These are the gates. The gates of the pearly gates? 
Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these. Let's just say she's not having a good day. No, she isn't, little one. The stony gate. She'd still be alive if she hadn't wasted her life saving mine. Huh? Well, she doesn't seem like such a bad friend after all. Fimble Venter can wait for now. I'm opening the gate. That's not wasting your well, life, Bayonetta. Thank you. Oh, I can't just leave you at a shuttered gate after your sob story, love. Besides, who's gonna save you if our stalker decides to show up again? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Try to keep up. Yeah, yeah, try to keep up. That's what you always say. That's so crazy. Let's get going. Hey, that looks a lot like the necklace he's wearing all the time. Stop sitting around. I could have made that jump. I didn't need your help. Whoa. It's a service? Oh no, it's greed. It's only got two heads. See if I could get a torture attack out on it and start making my money back. Oh, I gotta build my magic first. They sure are dropping orbs, aren't they? Priceless gem, and I just destroyed it. Let's get going. Try to keep up. I see that train a coming. It's coming round the bend. I, my name's Bayonetta, and I don't know when I'm gonna get to hell, but I think I'm gonna try. There are chests down there. Okay, how do I get down there? Where are you going? That chest that's down there. I'm assuming there's a safer way to approach it than just jumping straight down. Let's see. Ah, that ledge. See that ledge? It's definitely got to be how you get down there. Let's see. Keep running on the walls. I'm trying to, because I think you jump farther when you're a panther. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I hope I don't die from this. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. I got me a lollipop. Interested to see what the enemies in theory are supposed to be because they don't look like angels or demons. Yeah, I remember we watched something. Wasn't there like a trailer for Bayonetta 3? But I don't remember anything about it because I didn't have any context about anything about Bayonetta at the time. And if I don't have like context, if I don't know a thing and then I see a, another thing relating to it, I just nothing retains in my head because I don't have anything to apply anything to if that makes sense let's 
So I don't remember what the enemies look like at all. You only deal damage with enemy weapons. Gotcha. The enemies are coming. I'm gonna chop them down. Oh god, I forgot how that weapon worked. It's like a round projectile of some sort. Oh, that was a gun. Okay, good. They actually give us more weapons. I wasn't sure if I had to like use them efficiently enough. Hey. There's very little in the trailer. Lock on radical changes something vaguely Star Foxy. I I I was kind of thinking it that was the case. It's been a long time since I played anything Star Fox. The enemies were these weird teal mini kaiju looking things. That definitely feels different. Okay, all the pots or vases or whatever these are just reformed. Alright, now how are we gonna get to the uh How do you lock on anyways? Is it just When you hold the... Oh, the gun does nothing against these things, but you have to hit them. Ah, that's where we want to go. Now this might actually be like a heart or a pearl or something. Let's see. Hey, it's a heart! Catch up with that kid, he's probably complaining. Hey, where'd you go? Why are you taking so long? I need to torture attack someone. Oh, here we go. Give me a bunch of money. Did I get a bunch of money from that? Is that all you've got? I feel like I didn't get like a ton. Maybe maybe I could torture a bigger enemy. But not too big an enemy, because really big enemies can't be tortured. The item collect jingles from Star Fox. Ah. You know what I wanna, I should play sometime? Uh, Star Fox 64, cause that's the one that I played when I was really little. Ah, damn it, I activated. I'm trying to figure out what button it is to see how much money I have. Okay, I have 23,000, I freaking, oh, but you can turn it off. It's not like Kratos. Oh, well, now I know that. I just assumed I kind of turned it off because the last game I had been playing that's similar to this was God of War. energy from the object doesn't seem like it's going to do anything as it is now. Don't worry, its headache will fix everything. 
I just remember something runs off. What do you leave the oven on? It looks a sun. This enemy looks familiar. The cube? Yeah, the golem. I remember these guys. I remember. Oh god. I didn't see that coming. these guys. Probably get a bunch of money off of them. Poor guy. <laughs> now he's just a little son. All you got left going for you. I think the golem in the first game you couldn't even hurt until the sun was open and vulnerable. But in this one I think it just does more damage. If I play 64 and Assault, I'm good. Probably could have saved this for a while. Yeah, try reforming again, Buster. Which one is Assault? Was that the GameCube game that wasn't the dinosaur game? The one half of the other Star Fox games try to insist on being... I don't know what you mean by that. Hey there, Harley. Isn't it so much better? Uh, I they definitely have tweaked things. A, a, a lot of the things that I like, little minor complaints I had in the first game, they've they've definitely uh, tweaked here, which is really cool. Like the fact that you can, um, you have an ability to use with your magic during like boss fights and big enemy fights, just right off the bat. Whereas in the first game, you only had the torture attacks, which you couldn't use on a lot of enemies. So you would just have this full meter just going to waste during a lot of fights. So that's cool that they added um, a use for that. And then, um, what was the other thing? Uh, there's a couple things I've been noticing. Like they let you try out the accessories before you buy them, which is cool. Cause in the first game it's like, this is really expensive. What if I don't like this? Oh, they haven't been doing any quick times, you're right. I don't think I necessarily dislike the quick time events, but sometimes they definitely were a little hard to read. Um... Oh, other Star Fox games keep trying to be Star Fox 64, really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have very much Star Fox experience. I'm gonna look around real quick before I, uh... Oh, never mind. Let's try out this piece. Uh, what is going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, whoops, jeez, that just cut me up good. I should have paid more attention. What was I gonna say? Um. Yeah, they they also I haven't seen any enemies that you can't witch time off of, which is nice. What is this? You're very gold. Must mean you're very important. Allegiance. Now see how he was attacking me. Oh, he did hit me actually. But I feel like they don't do that as much as in the first game, and in the first game literally you have to be mid-dodge as the cutscene's ending or else you'll get hit. I, uh... 
this might actually have been the one time where that it, it was the case. I feel like in the other ones they just start attacking and then you have time to dodge. Yeah, I can't put my finger on the big visual differences between the first game and this one, but it does feel like uh, the visuals do kind of pop out in a nice way. Alright, he's going up there, but before I do that... I wanted to look here first, and for good reason. Also, way more health drops. The first game, it was very rare that you would run into a health drop. And then they punish you for using health items. But this game, I feel like you run into health drops a lot more often, which is nice. Okay, they don't want us to go over here. How about can they go up here? No, yeah, I really like Bayonetta 1 as well. The issues I had with it were, were pretty minor. I also like that the challenge, uh, challenges are, you just kind of stumble upon them in this game and, and they've also been slowly ramping up in difficulty. The very first challenge I did in the first Bayonetta was way harder than any of the challenges I've done so far in this one and I've done several already. Okay. <laughs> hey, we were here before. Not that way. Stop sitting around. Okay, you're getting annoying, kid. You're starting to reach mummy levels. Mummy. Like, I don't think Bayonetta One was like overly difficult or anything like that. Um. I could see how it could be, because it's definitely punishing. Like, if, if you are not paying attention for a moment, you could potentially get killed. Take care of this. Okay. Whoa! Is this the Star, Star Fox level? Jeez. Oh, we got a Moon Pearl! I'm glad I caught that. I'm the hang of these controls right now. I missed quite a few of those crystals, though. Oh no, OBS, what you doing? Sorry, OBS is acting a little weird right now. If it... I might have to reset it real quick. Alright, it's green now, so I think that means we're good. Huh, Floyd, aren't we good? Floyd's in my room right now. Chilling on my bed. Like a little sleepy. Whoa, what is this? You're gonna build a house? Oh. Built a... Sort of... Ooh, there's a chest way out there. Oh, we're gonna shoot to it, aren't we? I don't know. I don't want to lose it. Oh yeah, we definitely can't reach it from here. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna get the we're gonna get there in a second. Everything look good to you guys now? my new combo now. Punch, kick, punch, baby. Whoa! Alright. Oh, torture the big guy. Give me a bunch of money. 
I feel like that item that I bought that's supposed to give me a lot of money from the torture attacks aren't really giving me that much more money. I feel like that was a waste of money, I want to be honest. And then it also forces you to use the torture attack to even try to get that extra money. Which it's, it's, it is good to use the torture attack, but I could, you know, do the climax mode or whatever it's called. Wow, usually you just kiss those barriers open. That time she was like, I'm gonna shoot it with a heart shaped round of bullets. See, like a health drop right there, for instance. We'll try to keep up. For 30,000, I could get a health or magic upgrade, but um, I'll probably just hold off. Stop sitting around. Oh. Stop sitting around. Dude. Listen, kid. Here they come. Yeah, here they come. Mr. Stop Sitting Around. Bacon. Bacon. This thing was just so. Aha! I knew that kick was coming. Ride. Oh, okay. Uh, what? A, uh. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I'll torture attack you. You're a big boy. Hopefully you give me a lot of cash. Counter you too while I'm at it. The mashing is also easier. There's a lot of things in this thing and it's just like easier in general. Which isn't a bad thing. Now it's God of War, yeah. Wasn't that something you did in Monster Hunter too? I feel like that brief demo that I played with Sword and the Mike. That you had you have to like ride the monsters to attack the other monster or something. Ooh, that was like almost five thousand rings in one chest. Try to keep up. Big old hammer. Wrong portal. Oh, that's not the portal either. Where's the portal at? Oh, no portal. <laughs> that's an open door. Run underwater now. Alrighty. Um. And a yellow lollipop underwater. Ooh, there's a challenge portal over there. Let's see, how do we get there? Whoops, I didn't mean to use the hammer. But there's another thing. The game doesn't drain any of your hammer if you use it and it doesn't hit, uh, sorry, any special weapon you pick up, temporary weapon. If you hit the button and you don't hit an enemy, it doesn't drain any usage of it. Which is another nice improvement because in the first game I was always doing that. I'd pick up an item and I'd, I'd accidentally use it before I even get to an enemy. It really does feel like they probably took a lot of complaints that people had about the first game and specifically tried to remedy those, which is really cool. Defeat all enemies without touching the ground once. Oh, that's fun. You want to get back up where I can hit you? Oh, they just destroyed the ground. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I fell. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, I've done this challenge once before, and that did not happen. I guess I must have killed them before they did it. Uh-oh. 
I need to start jumping when they, uh, yeah. Hey Harley, your uh, your icon changed. That was fast. Alright, let's Oh god, what are you doing? Okay, he's attacking. There we go. We were more ready for that time. Oh god. Just trying to keep them away. Oh god! Oh no! Okay, they got me. They got me. That's okay. You have a Tomb Raider icon, is that what it is? I don't really know much about um, Tomb Raider. Like I played a tiny bit of one of the older ones when I was little, I think I was at someone's house and it was really hard as a little kid. Oh my god, you just chopped up so many platforms right now with that one attack. I don't like that. Oh, you're almost dead now though. Oh, you've drilled the ground! Damn it. I drilled the ground beneath me so my attack be became like this slam the ground attack by accident. I don't know how we dealt so much damage that time though. I need to try to do that again. Okay, can I just reset, restart? You have to fail and go do it again. What graphics card did you get, by the way? Back. I'm curious. Oh, here comes a drill! Coming. I knew it was coming. I need to land. Oh god. I Jesus, I actually went Panther mode. This has been my, the hardest mission so far. Or the hardest like challenge, I should say. RTX 360 Ti. That's a pretty good one, right? Like that's isn't that one of the uh new, newer ones? One step up from the newest gen version of the card I currently have. That name sounds familiar. Wow, that was horrible. I don't know why I started shooting that time, because I was just shooting... Uh, using, the, uh, using the punch button. That was a little weird. Oh, it's because when it's in the tornado mode, you actually do more damage to it. That's interesting. That's why I did so much damage to it that last time. Oh, God. Yeah! Had a good feeling about that one. Um... From a GTX 1060 to an RTX 360. Yeah, I have a GTX 1050, I think. I don't think it's a... Uh, no, yeah, GTX 1050. And I could run, like, most stuff okay. But then... 
Specifically, the only games that I've I've had trouble with are the Resident Evil one, like RE7 and RE2 Remake. I had to put the settings on like minimum to run those. But almost everything else that I've played has been okay, but I, I do feel like I'm probably going to get to the point where I'm going to have trouble running uh, probably more modern games. Oops. Oh, I thought I was dodging. Damn you, eyeball. Ah, I would've got a perfect platinum there. I could've just did the torture attack too, but I keep trying to like save those for bigger enemies, but I... It doesn't take too long to rebuild it, so it's like you might as well just use it, probably. looking around seeing if there's anything of interest so he wants me to go up there before i go up there i feel like there was maybe something down here or is this where we came from this might be Would be a good place to hide stuff. Very murky. The water. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I knew there ought to be something down here. Challenger, that's funny, we just did one. Hi, Christmas Elf, Mayonetta. God, that just sounds like a a dish you would find at a themed restaurant. Defeat all enemies using a single combo. Sure, sounds easy. No, I think I was on the last enemy and then I got, uh, I was too far away. Damn it. Almost had that on our first go. Yep, we're collecting Sonic the Hedgehog rings. Isn't that, isn't that way cool? Isn't that totally rad? Oh, I guess getting hit doesn't stop your combo. That's nice. No! Oh, 
Well, that's gonna stop it. Yep. What if I just like shoot things when they're farther away so I can keep the combo going? I wonder if that counts. Dang it, that first time we were doing just perfectly. And then I, I goofed up at the end. Well, jeez. Oh, All right, suggestion for Bayonetta 3. Uh, for the challenge rooms, have a quick restart option. And I bet you they're gonna have it too. <laughs> There we go. Hey, just having like that big of a combo give us a lot of rings too. Yeah, I don't think that that... Oh, I don't have it equipped, do I? You have to manually equip the accessory, don't you? So this whole time I haven't even been getting the use out of it, right? I... The whole time I wasn't even getting the rewards. Well, I'm glad that I just realized that right now. Wow, this thing doesn't really isn't worth it. It's almost as if it's not doing anything. Because it wasn't. But to be fair, no one else noticed that either. So it wasn't just me. Um, so he wants me to go that way, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go this way first. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, we're just back in this place again. Maybe? I don't know. Can I fight that? I don't see a health bar. I guess not. Jesus. Wait. Okay, now I can fight it, I'm guessing. Okay, never mind. Jeez. Oh, the very- I would have had a perfect platinum if it wasn't for that last thing. I didn't think it was gonna hit me. Boy. Ugh, okay. Uh, I don't think I could pun I could do a torture attack on you anyways. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I could've. OBS, yeah, OBS is acting weird again, my bad. I'll see if I can fix that in a second. The bitrate is like wildly going up and down, is what it does, it's weird.
It's still being weird though. I think I have to restart my router. Yeah, okay, now we're back. Um, cool. All right, let's get back to it. All right, also, good night, Sally. Sorry, you probably left already while that was going on. That was easy. I wish the router didn't take so long to restart. One day will technology reach the level where the router doesn't take like at least a few minutes to restart? Maybe one day we'll reach that level. Oh, that red was probably a heart. Damn it. Damn it, that red was definitely a heart. I mean, I went left as soon as I could. Ugh. End of the chapter, too. I blame the router on that. It, it threw me off my game. Unless we got- at least we got the orb, I guess, because I'm pretty sure there's less orbs than hearts since they only take two to upgrade. See, I didn't even notice when I picked up the orb that it was probably a different color diamond. Or else I would have been looking out for different colors. Anyways, we're at the gates of hell. Finally. Chapter 9. Ruinsoflostmemory.com I suppose. Try to keep up. Laser of Death, malicious. Oh, looks like one of those like little clown toys that you like punch, and they like bob back up because they have a weight on the bottom. Must be a big enemy. I should have uh, killed the small guys first, and I could have tried to torture it. Or something. Oh, I'm sure we'll come across more. Yeah, she's doing the heart bullets now instead of the kissing the barriers, like she was earlier in the game. I wonder why that is. Why did she suddenly change her uh, her signature barrier opening move? Keep up. Can't say that when I'm in front of you. Get down me. Hard bullets for the demon bearer, kiss for the angel barrier. Ah. Oh. 
because we're going to the the big H E double hockey stick. Oh, haven't seen one of these in a bit. And there's a challenge and a chest over there. There's quite a quite a few pieces of this one. Where was the other piece at? There it is. Oh, uh, where was the last piece at? God damn it. I don't know. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Damn it. I think I would have got it, but maybe it was down here. I think that's the first time I felled one of those. I was gonna say too, th these have been like really lenient. I was wondering when they were gonna get like trickier. Oh, it's down the stairs. That's why I didn't see it. Those are fun. I like those little chests. There. It reminds me of like a 3D Mario game or something. Those types of things. Surprised I didn't put one down here. Oh, he can't run there. Never mind. Give me all these items that I'm never gonna use. Gosh darn it, but maybe I will later in the game. When things get really intense. So we inched ahead in line, been painfully slow. Where you going? I got a little bored, so I turned on the radio. It's like, oh boy, oh, I'm gonna torture you, I'm gonna torture you. Okay, let's see how much money we get. Oh, I tortured the wrong guy, first of all. Oh. That wasn't, that wasn't very cash money of me at all. Haha, <laughs> you're dizzy. Oh, I didn't realize a big one was going to come. I should save that weapon, maybe. That's my bad. Yeah, the gun doesn't seem to really count towards your combo. Not like your melee attacks, anyway. That's such an aura, aura, aura type situation there. We're sure Madam Butterfly isn't just being out of stand, right? Oh no, where'd the weapon go? There it is. I started picking it up and then the cutscene started and I probably lost it for a second. Where's the storm spray do we have? Jury's still out on that one. <laughs> it's 
see ya. What's that down there? Oh damn it! I was looking at. I realized there was another enemy still. Where are you? Where are they? Okay, I don't know where that guy is, but there's something down here. Oh, it's another piece of that LP. I think I just abandoned that little mission by accident, but I... I don't know where that last enemy was. It like hit me with a bubble and then it was gone. I'm assuming we came up from down here and I just didn't need to go to the left. Oh, but there's... I think we just restarted. The... Okay. I said that was verse 6, but we never got like an ending screen. Maybe me knocking them down made the game Stop seem like I went out of bounds. Oh, another golem. Alright, golem. Have I got something for you? Oh, I should wait till your eyeballs are revealed before I use that for like you know what? Just... Let's just encourage you to get to show your face. There we go. Oh, I lost my weapon. I guess you only get one use of that thing. He's trying to use these different forms, and I'm just like, no. I'd rather you didn't. I'm Gabriel. I don't want you using other forms. Okay, there's actually some swipes on me now. Ah. Oh no. I gotta be careful because the witch time doesn't last too long. Here. Oh, there you go, you're done. You are done. Oh, fuck. Now oh, you're done. Oh, I thought there was one more punch coming there. Now you're done. Yeah. Or another one's gonna show up or what? Oh, climax. We didn't do it to the last golem. Blew up. Whoa, what is that? Just someone a bunch of giant spiky fists. We're gonna play tether ball, okay. Or volleyball, rather. Or hacky sack. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. I really look like someone's face. You know, love, you're probably the only person on the planet who says go to hell and means take me there. I suppose you're right. I think I've done my job here. Time for me to hit the road, love. Things to do and all. The world is dark and full of terrors. No place to be alone. Yeah, I do what remember the plain volleyball thing from the first small. game. Now I have to get to Thimbleventer. No, you will stay right here. She didn't ask, she here. told him. I have to no. worry about you off on your own. Come now, love. I'll take you to Thimbleventer after we finish my business. Yeah, great plan, love. You can't be on your own, so let's go into the depths of hell. Go save your friend. I'm out of here. I said no. You again? 
Listen, mate. One, the mask is shit, okay? And two, get out of my way. Your sins must be punished, Loki. What? Uh-oh. Oh, it's the galactic snuggy guy. Who are you? You pretend to forget me. Yet even if your memory may now be lost, the remembrances of time exist forever. Mm. Am I wrong, Lumen Sage? trying to kill this whole time? Huh. I am who you shall face. You will return the to the final boss. What I should never have lost. The eye? The really? Eye? You and that eye? Child or not, you will see no mercy, sovereign one. The sins you have forgotten are timeless. Now, Remember them as you stare upon my face. <gasps> it's him. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Nothing comes to mind. But now that I know that mouth of yours works, maybe it could jog my memory a bit. It show it looks up and it's da Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Why do we all always gotta have someone with amnesia? Cause you need it's an easy way to make a character's past mysterious without them just explaining it for the sake of explaining it. Oh, we're fighting this guy already? This must be like a Phantom Ganon type of deal, I'm guessing. The sound effect sounds so familiar to me, like the, the effect on his voice. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like Killer Instinct for Super Nintendo. I don't know what the sound is making. Oh no, not a giant building. That's never been thrown at me before.
Star Wars music. I have the high ground, Louisiana can. Bay and Anakin. We're gonna play as him again. Ow. Witch. Is that the limit of your power? Did you never open your eyes to your true potential? You are no left eye. But you may still forfeit it. So in the Japanese like version. Oh what the what was that on her? Was it like a little character, like a fox or a falco on the ship? I I'd never noticed that before. See a power beyond time. I was trying to wonder what was going on. I, I thought it was like the kid. She was like holding the kid, and he was like going through the tail for a second. What is the meaning of this? You said this was to stop the witch's rebellion. Jubileus, that big guy that we beat up in the first game. Enough of your empty words. Balder. This Balder. war is not your doing. No, it is not. I was <laughs> deceived. Deceived by the light. Your phone corrected Yada, Chase. I'm so sorry. Please, that's please funny. be still. Hey, butterfly glasses. You. That's neat. <laughs> or whatever that was. It looked a little mask. Star Wars Oh, each gun has a different charm. Falco Fox Slippy Puppy. Wow, I did not notice that. The eyes shall remain in What have you done? Rosa. Rosa. Stay with me now. It's been 20 years. One little slice is gonna kill an Umber Witch? No. But I kept it safe all this time. Never. The present you gave me. I See thought you were made of now. sterner stuff. Your face will be the last thing I see. Thank you. Rosa. Rosa. Please. Don't speak. I will save you. It's still not too late. What if she was still wearing the Star Fox outfit <laughs> in this cutscene? Watch over her. Oh wait, I guess that's See the mom the then. Comes to her. When the time comes, our dear sweet child will be the one. one to oh well, that was a thing, right? Her her parents. One of them was like a witch or a demon, and the other one was like an angel or something. Rosa. Wait, Bayonetta's literally just little Rosa. Nikki. What the heck? No. Rosa. Rosa. Does she also wear mittens in order to eat ice cream? Is that Jean? How old is Jean? If Bayonetta's still young enough to be looked after. One in Umber Witch, one a Lumen Sage, right, which is a vision of truth. the yin-yang type of situation. Of time. Lies. You possess the left eye, do you not? You are an overseer. See the truth. Is that why the See some of the, the demon stuff was turning on her? Because they found out she's half a uh, Lumen Sage? Water droplet of this. Kariba! Hold us. 
Ganze. Passt. Dude, the next level is going to be Hell or Inferno, rather. That was unexpected. Was it? The return of the eyes is simply My mission failed. That was unexpected. Who were you talking to? There was no one there. I don't know. I think this galactic snuggy guy. Something's a little off about him. Oof, our first bronze. Bad, I guess. Instead of uh, Soriza, it's baby. Uh, instead of baby Bayonetta, rather, it's that kid. Mommy. The Deaths. Wait, that's just a little Nightmares DLC. So it's 16 chapters. Um, we did start pretty early today, though. Oh, wow, yeah, it's just John. about to turn 8, barely. What should I seize? The mummy? Which time disabled? Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'll never win at this rate. You know, I just realized I had my swords turned off that whole time, didn't I? And then I accidentally turned them off in the middle of that boss fight. But I like my swords. I think if I turned them off, I'm a dummy. Oh my god, I'm actually getting beat up. I need to be careful. But now I don't have like the fists and stuff, so now I'm actually wondering if I should change it back. Oh, like a climax? Hell yeah. You ever randomly remember EA's visceral games, Dante's Inferno? I know that there was a Dante Inferno game. I didn't know it was who it was by, and I've never really seen anything of it. But I do know that there was that it, that it existed. Is it good? The way you say you ever randomly remember kind of makes it sound like it maybe wasn't the best, but. I don't know. Like, I feel like people talked about it right when it came out, and then I haven't heard anything about it since. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see. This, oh, okay. Is 
Oh god. I thought I could dodge the uh, orb. That was a bad idea. It's not great, it's not terrible, it plays much better than it works as an adaptation of the poem. Hmm. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Like, it's good that it plays well, but if you want to do Dante's Divine Comedy, or even just the Dante's Inferno part, like, it would be really cool to have the adaptation of it be really, really well done. Just because, you know, I mean, it's freaking Dante's Divine Comedy. I mean, come on. Oh, these guys look familiar. Oh god, are these supposed to be the annoying dudes? They don't let you do torture attacks on them, interestingly. Ooh, double! Oh, we got them both in the combo. Awesome. That's how you know this is a, an optional fight because these are new enemies so that we haven't fought yet in this game and they were not introduced. It completely changes Dante's whole deal which kind of undermines any other efforts with the work. Oh really? Oh, is that the last piece we needed of that one record? Now we can't tell when the screen goes away. No, dang, we never found the third piece of the last one. We're, we're working on a new one now. Dang, that's unfortunate. Oh well. In the game, he's an ex-crusader, and he sews his cross into his chest because he's just like, oh no. Oh no, that sounds horrible. Whoops. I stopped because I saw a bird, and now I'm... Really? Really? Wow, they really let you fall a while. I was like, when's this gonna end? Come back, bird. I just wanna grab you. Bird, please. Dang, can't, I can't tell if he, he moved because... I feel like he's moving because the rock is moving. Let me see. Come back. Okay, how the hell do we grab this guy? I just have to... Maybe I just have to jump. Whoops! Alright. Yeah, he's moving because the rock's moving, but you're supposed to slowly creep up on him, so how the hell am I supposed to grab him? Yeah, see, he flies away as I get close to him. Bird friendship, yeah. Oh, there's another bird over here, even. Oh, no, it's not. That was just a glowy piece of rock. Okay, how the hell are we gonna grab this guy? Is there another way to grab birds that I don't know about? back here it'll come down I think but then as soon as I start moving the rock moves and then he moves it 
Was this an oversight? Like, for real. None of the other birds are, are this, like... I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. Because you can't jump either, look, see? Either way it goes. And it vanishes off screen, too. And if I try to approach it from over here, it flies away as well. Can you, like, stun the bird? Is that a thing? Oh, you could grab it in freaking panther mode. Okay. I think that's what I had to do. Alright. Didn't know that. Okay. Is this Star Fox mode? Okay. Oh, you can't attack or anything. And you can't dodge. You just have to not do that. Oh, I thought those orbs were good things. I went for them. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Ooh. This feels like Star Fox. I haven't played it in forever, but it just feels... Oh, that was a heart I missed. But I mean, the depth perception here is a little tricky. That was bad. Goma? What are you doing here? Twister of Flame. Phantasmarine? And tell It'll be incredibly obvious. Alright, we'll see. Oh, there's a bunch of baby spiders now. That's very unchill. I don't like that. Mirror when, when Bayonetta says Sia, it sounds like a completely different voice actress. It doesn't sound anything like her. Everything else does. It's just like smashing! Excellent! See ya! I wonder if it was something like that. They were gonna replace her voice actress in this game and they changed their mind. And she only got that one line recorded. Hey Donga, this is a good game. I agree. 
If you have to ask if it's Star Fox time, it's not Star Fox time. Oh, look at that health. Those health drops. Hell yeah, baby. Freaking alien eggs. Oh, look at all this stuff. Seems to be something different about this tree compared to the other plants of Inferno. At the base of its trunk is a glassy red cord. It also blinked right now. Asking me to prove my strength. Oh! Okay, is it one of these things? Alright. I think we're to specifically point out. It looks more like a giant centipede than a tree. Bro, what if the Bea... See ya is a reference to Comic Zone. Comic Zone sounds familiar. That, that was like an older game, wasn't it? But, um... Possibly. But well, you could run along the sides of this, too. That's neat. Oh, yeah. We almost have enough to get a, a new, like, big item. So I'll probably hold off on that for now. Get this, this. <laughs> Old Sega beat em up. Whenever you kill an enemy, the protagonist goes, See ya! It might be. Because they do like to reference a lot of Sega stuff, even though this one wasn't published by Sega. attack on you, you're just a little guy. Yeah, I'm glad I saved my thing. Swindler of Progress Resentment. Swindler of Progress. That sure is a title. because our combo wasn't good enough. It just wasn't good enough. That's okay. We don't need your stinking perfect platinums. Oh! Oh, look at that! Maybe we'll actually find all the pieces. I'm guessing that the last piece is probably also in this same location. Okay. We still want to try and frog. What's the story with that frog? Because I notice it has a crown. Is it like the king of frogs? I think that's like the second time we've actually seen him.
That was a new enemy too. Another one of them eyeballs. That last record piece has got to be around here somewhere. I also saw a challenge spot. There it is. Don't get hit. Uh-oh. One of those types of missions, eh? Dodge there. Okay. We'll take care of this guy, no problem. No problem. Too hesitant last time. Give me that hard piece. Give me that, give me that. Give me that hard piece. record. We know there's a record piece around here. There's gotta be. Just looking around carefully. That we would think would lead us to more progress. We probably don't want to go that way just yet. Then again, this looks kind of progressy too. Hmm. Yeah, this also led to a vine. That's new. Embracer of Extremes, Sloth. Sloth is Embracer of Extremes? If anything, that seems like that's one of those passive sins. Let me call that an extreme. Extreme would be like wrath or maybe greed. The, I know like the seven sins are like in the inferno, they're also in their own sections. There's like passive sins, which is like, I think, gluttony. Uh, Envy, Sloth. Oh, I could've did a torture attack on him too. That's just a big enemy. Okay, so this, I'm thinking, is the normal progress. So I actually am thinking of going the other way first. Let's 
it's a straight path, then... As long as I know where I'm going, I think we can do this. Oh, you turn not panther anymore when you land that. That's weird. Did I miss one? Nah, no, there's one more. I guess if you, if you fall from too high of a distance in Panther mode, you lose the form. It seems like that's what happened. Why can't you find a gosh dang Cherubi? What's a cherubi? A mini cherub? <laughs> Call me Mati from Captain Planet because I got a bunch of hearts. Oh, these are the guys I could have torture attacked on. I should have used that instead. Okay, maybe we'll get another one. Killed it too. Oh, it's Pokemon. A cherry cherub, huh? Is that Arceus? Another heart. That means we're gonna get another health upgrade, baby. Dude, we started on a second bar. Yeah, I'm just that healthy. Yeah, I got a second bar, no big deal. Some of the Pokemon are stupid rare to find. I've never heard of a Cherubi before. Back in my day, there was only 20 Pokemon. I don't know where all the rest came from. I hope this isn't progression. Just seems like a little, yeah, yeah, just a little lone rock. This might be the record piece right here. Probably take care of this first, though. This might be a perfect platinum. Fire. Yeah, baby. 
Gotta catch them all to finish the post game. That's probably every Pokemon game, right? I imagine. Yes! We found the full LP. Hell yeah. We've redeemed ourselves for missing a piece of the last one. There's 242 and you have 234. You're pretty close. And the ones you have to find are like, I'm guessing like very special circumstances to find them. Like it has to be 2.32 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And it has to be a full moon, like stuff like that. Rodin, what do you mean? Ain't being there. Fancy finding a witch like you place like this. Rodar, don't tell me you came here to rescue me like some kind of knight in shining armor. Rescue? Do I look like the rescuing type? Like some kind of shine in knighty armor. Here, I'd be all over your soul like a hungry hyena. <laughs> hmm. Oh god, one of these things again. Giant skull mana rays. There are several things relating to full moons. Dude, is Rodin's gonna help us here? Right. I'll go easy on you guys. So let's Dude, Rodin's helping us. Hell oh, yeah. That's cool. Coming from. Stop flying around and fight, darn it. God, it's an exploding gore all over the place. Oh, two of these big guys, jeez. He just killed one in like one hit. Rodin's freaking crazy. Jeez, I'm surprised he's not out doing this stuff that we do. Wow, yeah, he, he kills these. I shouldn't have wasted that. Jeez. So is my target by the looks of it. Your target? John, there she is. Hold up. You're not seriously thinking of getting between a man and his next payday. Mm. Chill, Bayonetta. Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. Oh, so I got a platinum. I just got that one hit from that guy off screen. <laughs> Let's see, should I do one more chapter? Do you know if the later chapters get longer or shorter or whatever? 
I do 11 and there's 16 total, then that would mean I would have five chapters for the for one more stream. You found Sharubi? Another LP. Yes, no LP. rest for the wicked. Even if I am jolly than LP. the average demon. LP. But LP. no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Be right back. This one's gonna be fun. Been looking for a workout like this for a while. Ta ta. Dude, what are we gonna get? At least Goofy's song we've had so far. Damn. Some of these fools are really about that life. Had me working overtime to knock this one into shape. Off you go. Ooh, two chainsaws? Salamandra. Dang, we might actually have to try it. Wait, new product information. Rodent treasure platinum ticket now in stock. What the heck is that? What on earth is a platinum ticket? Like a freaking concert ticket? Oh my god. Um, uh, nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Eleven and twelve are boss fights or gimmick chapters. Oh, okay. Well, we might as well just do both of those then right now. Platinum plate equivalent in value to the number of halos needed to restore the heavenly powers of the fallen angel Rodin. Rodin's a fallen angel? Wow. If you were to hand this over to him... Dude, what does this do? Man, that would take forever to save up for it. I don't know if we could even save up for it uh, in one playthrough. Let's buy it anyway. Also, it's funny that we're buying it from his store to hand it to him. Alright. Yeah, wait, it's 9 million, and we've only ever gotten up to like 1... We've never gotten close to even 1 million. That would take forever to save up for. I feel like one playthrough, you'd maybe have a million by the end of it if you didn't spend any. Unless there's like some way to really rack up cash fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother saving up for that. So instead, um... Anything new here? No. What's this? Oh, this one costs 200,000. What does this do? Power to repel and... Oh, it's the parry. Oh. Now that I know it's that expensive, I don't think I'll bother getting it. The one where you summon little guys to help you sounds, or, or it looks fun, man. And this one just makes it invincible, which is not bad. Basically, you feed Rodan all the halos, and he's like, finally I have enough to return to my former power, and you fight him, and it's dope. Oh. Damn, I wish there was, like, a cheat code to get all those halos, because there's no way I'm going to be able to save up for that many, but that sounds cool. You, you basically get a fight Rodin in angel mode, is what you're saying? He's like a redeemed angel. Is that the lore reason why you're giving him halos? This whole thing? I'm gonna get the uh, the little devils. That just seems like a fun one. You could just summon these guys to help you whenever. And I'll actually remember to equip it this time. But he's already so powerful. He he was killing those big enemies. It takes me a while to kill in a single attack. So what the heck?
A human? No, we're a witch. I don't think witches count as humans. I came to pick up a friend. It's almost her curfew. Maybe they meant to say mortal. Then again, Bayonetta's like hundreds of years old, right? Are we sure she's mortal? Where are they the witch, but we're a human? I'm gonna call your bluff. That looks kind of like Madame Butterfly. Is that like the same species as Madame Butterfly? Or is that just we're showing that we were summoning her? What are you going to do without your precious palace? You're an umber witch as well. I couldn't tell because of that dorky outfit you were wearing. The last we meet Madame Butterfly, I learned the past I really have quenched my hatred for you. It's Madame Butterfly's rival? Whisper of Dementia, all the rain, rain. Okay, they look, they look similar, but their sizes are completely different. I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> she walks like Bayonetta. <laughs> They got similar style. Oh, I gotta remember because some of my little guys too. I forgot because I'm in a freaking boss fight. Whoa! You can't summon your little buddies. I'll summon my little buddies. I tried to, but I think I got sucked in. I'm gonna summon him. I'm not getting the opportunity to. Wait, it's equipped, right? Hang on. Make sure this thing's equipped. Yeah, it's equipped. Oh, hold X and A. Alright, that's why I haven't been working. There we go. Alright, little buddies. Oh no, my perfect record. I shouldn't have stopped the summon the little buddies. Oh, she's almost gone too. Dang. Would have been a perfect platinum. Oh. You win some, you lose some. These things are pretty weak though, actually. Ah, oh, Butterfly, why is your rival, like, not that crazy strong? Is hitting me now, though. He's getting desperate because he's on. Unless she has like another form or something. Hey, you can't say that. Rude. Okay, there she goes. Oh, didn't expect that. 
Whisper of Insanity all room. If you cry for mercy, you may have lived, but now nothing but your last breath awaits you. Uh huh. All, all the enemies in this game are just way too overconfident. Stop eating people that I care about. Oh, she's like digesting her. And like stealing her power. That's not fair. You better break her free. Okay. <laughs> Interesting camera angle there. Yeah, I saw the fox and the falco charms that time. Ouch. Oh. Oh, not my soul. We've had enough souls for one day. Whoa, I don't know how I did that, but okay. You can get out of there. That's not where you belong. She's definitely getting finished off from Adam Butterfly, there's no way she ain't. Snatched her right out. Jump. Get depowered. Broden. Oh. I thought I told you to cheat. That's his target, huh? You got more important shit to do than dealing with this monstrosity. You get a medal You're for being be the late. most translucent person here. Congratulations. Jean, it's time. Get up. Please, Sean. Wake up. Sean. <sighs> Sir Hesa. What do you need? A wake up kiss or something? As soon as she realizes she's okay, she starts being all. <laughs> you never were much of a morning person, were you? How do you know? The 
this? You just barely met but a week ago. This is... Cereza, you came here to... to rescue me? Are you insane? You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, that hasn't been that bad. Get some rest, too. Be careful, Cereza. Something... something big is going to happen to our world. I know. Just go home. And no stopping or turning around along the way. Is that a reference? Fucked up my business. Right. <gasps> Gotta hand it to you. This is quality. The perfect palette for an artist. There's that biblical now, thing where you, you can't turn around. Dude. I forget the exact story. It's a reference how Gene is easily distracted. So that's how that works. Well, not very romantic. <laughs> Got a nice glow about it, don't you think? It's it's. I know bad. you're joking, but it's literally but like the. Uh, you don't need me to explain the finer points of fucking shit up, do you? Not bl biblical Orpheus and Eurydice. I could have sworn there was a biblical variation of that as well. I'll have to look into that later. Because the giant demon unicorn is back. To be saved, huh? Don't forget about your new toy. Dang, that could have been my first chance to get a platinum since it was just a boss fight. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe next time. Oh, we unlocked a new weapon. Oh, that's right, I got the chainsaw weapon I didn't get to try out yet. That always happens when I start up the chapters of starts on a boss. Alright. And apparently this next one is also Dang, we got a lot of money. In that case, I, for one, am going to New shop room. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Hair doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. What'll it be? That's messed up. I'm gonna get a moon pearl. Yeah, almost for another one too. No prizes for guessing who you fight in this chapter. Clearly, we're going to fight uh, the uh, the Metatron. Okay, blade slash, blade slash, jump, shoot, lock on. Wait, this is just all the, basically the same thing as any of the other times you're doing a weird different mode, except this time they're actually explaining. Alright.
the angle, this is like a weird, like, Dutch angle almost. I saw an L and instinctively hit it, but I shouldn't have turned that on, probably. That was a waste, oh well. So maybe it doesn't matter. That's a dragon. Is that the dragon that betrayed us? Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh yeah, you just automatically build up that stuff. Jeez Louise. Oh my god, I have to like tilt my head. This is so weird. The angle on this is strange, to say the least. This unicorn's freaking strong though. Okay. Horse is like taking up a lot of the field. Oh, yeah. oh god, oh so okay. no. I didn't realize I got hit at all. You're welcome. Pretty badass ability to have. Must keep interfering. He has a form too. Are panthers generally much larger than wolves? See about that. So you're saying diplomacy has failed then? <gasps> it's Raiden. Surrender, or it will be more than your. From Metal Gear Solid. Witch. Almost said Metal Gear Gaiden. Or shall I call you Bayonetta? <laughs> that seems to be what people call me these days. Very well. Then, that is the title of the game, after all. You shall be the first Umbral Witch to die in my hand. Lumen Sage Balder. I swear it. On hey, you're just a big peacock. Sage. Like that one enemy in uh, Memory Heroes 3. I kind of flew sometimes, too.
Jeez, I'm actually having trouble dodges right now. Fine, I'll summon my little friends. Hell, help. Man, I don't know why I'm like I'm in so much trouble with my doggies right now. I keep like double tapping. I think I don't know why. Cause I don't know I don't know when his attacks gonna come out. I guess. Oh, you dodged my big hit. How dare you. Whoa, what's happening? Why are we using that? Wait, what was the reference? Oh, okay. Oh, we like both stunned each other. We like clash. Oh, diplomacy has failed. It kind of sounds like it, but I don't know what. Fancy tube of lipstick. This, this is impossible. Little one? Uh huh. I'm blue glowing. Nothing can stop me now. Where am I? Lady Nessa! You can get away from me! Why did you say that to me? That's a dude trying to kill you. Oh, because you were warning me. I think we just got evaporated. Yeah, diplomacy has failed does kind of sound like the opening to like a... <gasps> we got a platinum trophy, sweet. I wonder what the perfect platinum trophy looks like. He finally solved the Millennium Puzzle and locked its power. There are actually Millennium Puzzles you can buy that you have to put together, which I think is a neat idea. Cool. So what do you think? Should we, should we call it a break? Do you think the rest of the game is a good length for one more stream? Because there's a 
four chapters left. So that would that sounds like it'd be a good length for one last stream. Give give me some time, some buffer time just in case. Alright, we'll wrap up then. Well, I've been having fun. It pretty much is just as fun as the first bayonetta, except they they literally fixed like most of like the little things that I was uh, uh, complaining about. So that's cool. So we'll probably wrap this up tomorrow because I do need to send the game back, and then we'll we'll probably go back to we'll finish Carol Blaster, and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can do Punch Out as well. Maybe we'll be able to still finish that up. I just didn't realize the defense mode was gonna be as hard for me as it was, but um, we, I think we only have four boxers left. I think I'm in the final um, stretch. So maybe we'll do that as well. But anyways, good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Don't let the bail bite. <laughs>